Now to our forecast. It's going to get real cold real soon. Yes, right? indeed. You're going to need a hat by Monday and Tuesday. That's for sure. No matter how much hair you have on your head, it is just going to be downright cold. But until then, let's try to bottle some of this warmth. Let's go outside right now. Our 360 tower cam is beautiful. Just a passing cloud here and there, but there's definitely more sunshine than clouds. It is 62 degrees. The winds are pretty variable at about three. That's about it. And our dew point hanging out rather low, just like our humidity. Now, of course, that poses a problem because we do need to be aware that it's still very dry outside. Despite the rain that we had a few days ago, we could be looking at some fire danger issues over the next few days, particularly when that really cold, cold front comes around. We've only had six hundredths of an inch of rain for the year, so we're already at a deficit at over a quarter of an inch. We are still dealing with some mold issues as well as cedar as just really look at very high. That's even higher than really for this time of year for cedar. So if you have any allergy issues, that's probably what's going on. Let's give you just a quick look at your day planner by 5 o'clock, 58 degrees, 10 o'clock, mostly clear skies, just a handful of clouds here and there, and 51 degrees. Now, right now across the area, it is 60 degrees in Rockdale. It is 59 in Lampasas, and it's 58 in Burnett. 63 there in Blanco. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, right here in the city, it is 62. And our satellite radar composite is beginning to see a little bit of that cloud cover from the Pacific moisture that is headed our way. But for the most part, it's just more of a passing cloud issue at this point. Really nothing that's going to stick around for far too long. We're, and that's evidenced by our clouds and radar forecast right now. Just a little bit of cloud cover towards the border there. And that's really about it for the next few days or so. It's going to remain mainly clear, and those temperatures are going to rise thanks to high pressure, which is centered off towards the east of us and wrapping around and bringing us a little bit more moisture to work with by this weekend, which means we're going to get more cloud cover and actually be able to squeeze some moisture out of these clouds by Saturday afternoon. Now, here's the big story. Of course, the trough that's right here, that big, huge center of low pressure just bringing in Canadian air like we haven't seen in a long time time. But before that, we have this low right here that's going to scoot across the landscape, fire off some thunderstorms and showers. Now, right now, we're going to expect maybe some stronger storms and close to severe levels, but that's mainly off to the east. It will likely not be in our viewing area, but if you are going to be traveling this weekend, it's something to keep in mind. But notice how by Wednesday, that cold air just forms a bucket over us and stays there for a couple of days. I'll show you that in the seven-day. But meanwhile, it'll be 64 degrees and northeasterly breeze about 5 to 10 miles per hour for the day. And we're looking at 43 overnight. Now, here's our seven day right here. Thunderstorms and showers, a very good chance by Saturday, mainly in the afternoon hours. And then into Sunday, 40% chance. And that will be in the morning. Notice how we clear out nicely by Monday and Tuesday, but are high only in the 40s by Monday. Tuesday 38, Wednesday 36, and right now these are optimistic. We're hoping to be able to hang on to those 30 degree temperatures as the cold front comes along. And that cold blast and into Thursday as well, trying to get into 40, staying below freezing in the evening hours. Your forecast.